All right. Okay, I think I'm ready. Hi, can you guys hear me okay? Timmy Crocker, I like that. Sound works? Good, I've got a mic hidden. All right, so welcome to the official WKUK Twitch channel. I'm gonna tuck in my shirt. I think my crotch is hidden by that bowl right now, so that's good. All right, I'm Timmy, and um, we're making we're making bread. You know what I mean? We're gonna make zucchini bread. I threatened to do that. What on the whitest kids uh, switch switch Twitch a couple uh, days ago, and so now we're gonna do it. Um, so yeah, welcome to everybody to chat. Thanks to all of our subscribers. Thank you to everybody that's been making this WKK Twitch thing such a awesome fun success so far as we try and fund our movie right um hopefully you enjoy this because uh if this if this cooking thing goes okay i'm gonna do it again you can just watch does it say in the description that i'm making zucchini bread but it still says it's uh in the bloodborne category right maybe i'm gonna try and update that cool yeah i do look like a teacher don't i i know it's fine Okay, let me, uh... It still says Bloodborne. It's supposed to say food and drink. Whatever. Okay. Well, so people that are trying to watch Bloodborne will just get this instead. Is that what happens? Okay, so first thing when you cook is you got to keep health and safety in mind, especially nowadays uh, with COVID and everything, right? So I didn't have time because I have a real I have a day job, right? I didn't have time to do my hair much, but it is important to keep your hair out of your food. So... I'm putting on this hairnet, and that's gonna hopefully keep some of the some of the hair out of our zucchini bread. We're making zucchini bread. I live in the Midwest, and uh, around this time of year, actually, it's a little late for zucchini season, but in August, early September, everybody zucchini suddenly explodes and gets tons and tons of zucchini. So they're trying to give it away to everybody, right? And uh, what happens is um, that people just like. It's like the opposite of stealing. They'll sneakily, like, force it upon you, like, leave it on your doorstep or, like, leave it in your mailbox. Or they'll, if your car's parked somewhere with the doors unlocked, they'll just open your car and put zucchini in it. So people literally say, lock your doors in zucchini season. But zucchini is great for bread and brownies. Um, if today goes well, I think I'll make zucchini brownies another time, but we're going to make zucchini bread right now. I'm having, I, I don't know how to see chat. Oh, there we go. Okay. Zach asked me to ask you about Portland. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, last night when, or Zach was streaming yesterday, I think, what's he doing? Dark Souls? What's he doing? Uh, Bloodborne lately? Something like that? Um, anyways, uh, he was asking me about, he was trying to prank me into starting a fight with Steve-O or something. So that's what I... I ended up not doing that. Tuck that hair. I'm a dilf. Thank you. Can zucchinis hurt you? Is it medicated bread? No, I don't. Uh, I don't live in a state where medicated bread would be okay. So you're right, though. I should. I didn't wash my hands because the time got away from me. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. All right, I just did a quick one. It's okay. I've been washing my hands all day. Um, should I wear a mask too? This is a mask my mom made me. All right. I love everything about this. Good. Thank you. So Refoculated, who I think I remember... That name seems familiar to me. Um, Refoculated says that I could take Steve-O. I don't know. Like I told Zach yesterday, I think it was Steve-O. Sure, I'm younger. I'm spry, despite my portliness. And uh, I'm also I have a healthy rage, right? Just bubbling, right? Just right under the surface at all times. But the thing is, is what's Steve-O's whole career been? Fucking getting hurt, right? So the guy has a threshold for pain that other humans probably can't even comprehend. So I just don't think, unless I, like, I don't know, just gouge his eyes out with my thumbs like a Blade Runner villain, right? I don't know. Yeah, everybody's going to ask about Buckerson and Myers. We're working on it. We're not going to do Buckerson and Myers live because we just think it's a better YouTube show, right? Because 
If you wa if we did that thing live, it would be like watching the sausage get made. That's what I said the other day, and I feel like that's a good uh, comparison. Um, because it's just not, uh, you know, if we did it live, there'd just be like hours of me like, okay, let me roll the dice. Holy shit, my fly's down. Okay, cool. So here we go. So we're going to start making zucchini bread. First thing you got to do that takes the most time is you got to grate your zucchini. Now I started grating it the other night, but we need some eggs too. Uh, but it takes a long time, so I didn't finish. You need two cups of zucchini, and you're also going to need... Oh, how much? One cup of chopped nuts. <laughs> um, where did I put those, right? And then I'm going to need a cutting board because the nuts I bought, they're right here, are not as uh, chopped as I want them to be. So let's figure that out. And thank you to everybody who's already tuning in and yakking and talking. That's great. Um, if you subscribe, I, of course, thank you to all our subscribers, everybody that helps out by creating excitement for this goofy ass channel that we're doing um you know with everything else i might miss you but thank you in advance to anybody that does anything because you guys rule and you know that what is this oh this is the zucchini that bright thing right there okay okay someone's already bitching about chocolate chips you don't need to put chocolate chips in everything but if you guys you know we got until about a little under two hours, because that's when Sam's going to start streaming, and he and his brother have some exciting things planned, so we're not going to cut into their time. However, if we get the zucchini done, there's something else that uh, I'm going to make that does involve chocolate chips. So let's see how quickly we can go. You guys, you guys are all going to have to help me like, uh, you know, like fairies helping, you know, like when they would make the kids clap to keep Tinkerbell alive. You know what I mean? So, anyways... Does anybody understand that? Can anybody hear me? <laughs> I know you can hear me. I'm just being a dick. Okay. So I already have, you know, if you were watching Twitch the other night, I got like mad at the guys because I went old school Timmy on them and got mad because they're having some fun at my expense a little bit, but not really. I just got upset, forgot my pills. Um, I, uh, so I started shredding zucchini. I feel like it was almost like a, I feel like it was almost like some sort of, uh, therapeutic thing right I just started shredding zucchini and I wanted to make zucchini bread then I was like wait I'm not gonna make it right now so why should why should I do that it was late and I was mad so instead I'm gonna do it right now and so we need uh, about another cup's worth of zucchini and once once that's going once the zucchini shredded that's like the only part that's like because I think one reason a lot of people don't cook a lot is because prep work is just so fucking daunting, right? And sure, there's all sorts of ways you can buy, like, pre-prepped, so prep-prepped, pre-pre-prepped vegetables. But, I mean, you know, A, this zucchini was free, and uh, B, uh, buying pre-prepped stuff is, you know, uh, that was cool, right? So, anyways, what I just did there was just cut out the chunk that uh, has seeds in it. You don't really want that in there right so all right i need a food processor doll liquor go fuck yourself by the way but uh is totally right i'm slowly amassing a christmas wish list which i don't normally do but i need a i need a food processor fucking right on about that one pal and i also uh would like oh i want a steamer basket for my instant pot right because when i put like broccoli in my instant pot just on that little like trivet thing it falls all over and then the Instant Pot does that thing where it tells me I'm burning it even though I'm not, and it just sucks, so I'm not doing that. And I need chocolate chips. Okay, somebody's already saying that. Fuck seeds. Oh, I, I had a stand mixer, but now I have a hand mixer. I don't have this, the stand mixer anymore. I mentioned it very briefly on a on one of our Zoom stories. <laughs> Anyways, uh, but yes, uh, I used to have a KitchenAid stand mixer. Can I say KitchenAid? Is that okay? Anyways. Hey, uh, yeah, if I say KitchenAid Mixer, will they send me one? Is that how that works? I don't really know how that works. How many, uh, how many sounds does the zucchini sh shredding make? Does it make too many sounds? Okay. Have I ever accidentally, uh, grated my fingers? Unprepared, boys. This isn't unprepared. This is part of the process, dude. I mean, I kind of thought about getting everything. I mean, look, I already had bowls on the table, you know? Suck my butt. Uh, you're lucky I have that. You're lucky I have freaking clothes on, right? I have 
Oh, you know, I have a job and a kid and ADHD and I'm crazy. And you guys, you know, I had a bowl up here already. I'm prepared. But no, I wanted to actually do some of the prep work on the stream because that's that's part of it. You know, that's part of it. And um, that's what I was saying. It kind of, I feel like lots of people get scared off of cooking because of the amount of prep. All right, we almost have our second cup of zucchini. Then we're done with the, with the crazy ass zucchini part of it as far as prepping it. Then I gotta chop up some nuts and then it's pretty easy from there. You're gonna see me wipe some butter. I'm gonna get butter on my hands in a little bit. That'll be exciting, right? Hey, we're on that hype train. Is that what that means, right? I look way dapper. It's just my insurance agent shirt. Naked cooking with Timmy could happen. We need to use uh, some big blurs <laughs> for my gut and my ass. Okay. I still am not sure what a hype train means, but uh, I'm really excited about it. We're at a level three hype train. Good job, everybody. Thank you. And thank you to all the subscribers, everybody gifting, doing all that jazz. Very cool. If you don't know and you're just cruising the internet and saw some weird ass dad grating vegetables and decided to start throwing money at it, well, I mean, that's great. I wish I could be at your level. But uh, what we're doing with that is uh, eventually funding an animated movie, as Trevor and Zach have talked about before, and Sam Darren Wheel have. So, uh, yeah, so this is all for a reason. And the movie's going to be uh, real awesome if we can make it. I really like my part. So, anyways, we'll see, uh, see what happens. Is that a spoiler if I tell you I would enjoy making it? Tier 5 Eagle Stimmy Dance? Nah, I don't do that. Is Trevor serious? Is Trevor serious about what? My dad pants are on point. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I don't even know who I would prank call. You know what? If we get me to level 5, maybe I'll start. Here's what we'll do. Here's what we'll do. All right. If we get to level 5, I'm going to start making a loaf of banana bread at the same time that I'm making zucchini bread. All right? We'll do a cooking-specific hype train uh, reward. All right? I've already got the hard part of this done. Banana bread is extremely easy to make, and that will have chocolate in it for the person that keeps screaming about chocolate in the chat. So there you go. All right, we're already at 26% on level four, so I think the banana bread, the simul... See, the, the thing here is not just that I'd make banana bread, but it'll be simul-fucking-taneous, all right? So we're talking about, like... We're talking about me having a panic attack is what we're really talking about, but we're talking about it's going to be cool, right? So, all right, zucchini's done for now, but we're going to save this. I'll put it away in the fridge later, don't worry. Um... I'm going to make zucchini brownies one of these days very, very soon on stream as well. So, save that. There's some other... Oh, I put my garbage... Where did my garbage go? Okay, we're just going to set that there. <laughs> All right, cool. Now i got to cut up some nuts. We're going to cut... We need a cup's worth of walnuts, and those are walnut halves. And again, okay, so the walnut halves are cheaper than the walnut uh, if you already buy them pre-chopped. Like, 50 cents cheaper. And what are you really getting? You're just uh, getting out of maybe 10 minutes of work. So, come on. Be a grown-up. Cut your own fucking walnuts, right? Maybe I should. Maybe that's what I uh, should. I'm going to have that engraved on a pocket watch and give that to my daughter when she graduates high school. Be a grown-up and cut your own fucking walnuts. I think that's good. Can you believe the walnut savings? <laughs> no, you can't. You know, that 50 cents a bag of walnuts really adds up, especially around this time of year, right? Because now we're entering the time of year, you know, even though I'm not as fat as I used to be, I still have the soul and heart of a fat man. And uh, I fucking love this time of year. I mean, yeah, do I like brisk weather? Yes. Do I like pretty leaves? Yes. Do I like monster movies? Sure. But, in fact, I'm a huge horror nut. But, um which has been a recent development in my life the last, like, five years. Anyways, but no, what I really love is fucking candy and cookies, right? And so the fall is uh, in, into winter is when all that stuff happens. So the roundabout thing that I was getting at was if you pay attention and, you know, whoever was sarcastically saying, can you believe the walnut savings? Well, if you think about it, if you're buying a lot of walnuts for all your baking, uh, yeah, you'll start actually saving some real money by, you know, just paying attention and not being afraid to do a little bit of the prep work yourself. Plus, this is soothing, right? You're just cutting these fucking nuts, right? You've had a long day at work. You're fucking sick of it. You just gotta fucking chop the nuts, right? So you just chop up the fucking nuts. Okay, there we go. 
do I do hard drugs? No, I don't do any drugs. Oh, we're way past the hype train now, by the way. Okay, so yes, yeah, so we got the hype train. So now that means I have to start making banana bread at the same time. All right, so we're gonna make zucchini bread, old school classic zucchini, zucchini bread. As far as flavor, it's gonna have a little bit of vanilla cinnamon in it. It's really good basic zucchini bread. That's why I don't really uh, do the uh, whole uh, chocolate thing in there because it doesn't need it. However, banana bread is different, right? Because we know bananas are good with peanut butter because we all like to eat Elvis sandwiches. We know bananas and chocolate probably go together because those are good. So, you know, it's going to be great. So we're going to start making those simultaneously here as soon as I'm done with the nut shopping. Thank you to everybody contributing to the hype train. I'll tell you what, I was the first whitest kid to ever stream on Twitch, you know. I used to do it in 2016, 2017, but I don't understand all the subscriptions and hype trains and stuff. And now those guys, the other guys, all kind of get it better than I do. But thank you for contributing and for just keeping the hype train rolling, whatever that fucking means. I'm sure the chat is trying to explain it to me, but I'm just not very good at paying attention. Oh, and thank you to uh, Sumidokin, Sumidosin, Sue Medicine, however you say that, uh, gifting a bunch of subscriptions. Very cool. Bananas are met with chocolate. Well, bodacious, uh, you know, maybe you're just fucking wrong. So the notification still says Zach's playing DS3. Okay. Well, sorry to disappoint you. This is not Zach playing Dark Souls. I thought I had to figure it out. I'll get to figure it out uh, soon. I'll get better at this, I promise. Okay, so, so zucchini bread prep, we got uh, a cup of chopped walnuts, and we throw that zucchini in together at the end. So we're going to just put them together in this bowl, because it doesn't, that's fine. Okay, so there's those. Now, let's get the, uh, oh my god, we're going to make banana bread and zucchini bread at the same time. I can't believe I agreed to this. It's going to be fucking weird. Okay, so... This, I think we're done chopping stuff, so we'll get this away. I'll put away the chopped walnuts later. I need to drink some water. Okay, here we go. Don't forget to drink water. Okay. So, the zucchini. We're going to uh, sift the flour. We also got to do some bread pans. Where's the bread pans? Where the fuck did I put those things? There we go. Okay. We're going to need another bowl. We're going to need so many bowls. It's crazy how many bowls we're going to need. This one up here. All right, so now we're ready to start making the dough. Can you read that? It says applause. There we go. Yes, perfect right there. Yeah, sweet. All right, we'll get that out of the way now. Okay, so I thought you thought my apartment would look more like Superman's Fortress of Solitude. I tell you what, you know, I tried to go with the Fortress of Solitude thing. Just huge ice crystals everywhere and ice crystal furniture, ice crystal toilet, ice crystal beds. But, you know, I have a kid and one day Child Protection Services came over and they said, you can't raise a kid in a Fortress of Solitude. I was tired of the government getting my fucking business. Okay, so we need uh, to start getting some flour measured here. Now, I hope I have enough flour for everything. Also, whoever called me unprepared, yeah, I forgot to take out all the flour and sugar. Okay, so there's that. Wait, we don't want to like accidentally advertise for some sugar brand. Sugar is bad for you anyways. But we, know, we love it, and we love to see it. I really thought Timmy had pulled his dick up behind a bowl and said, did you see that? Dude, you know, just be lucky that Twitch does censor stuff, because things would be pretty fucking weird sometimes if they didn't, because I have no shame anymore. You appear, turns out you appear in underwear on television programs enough times and you just lose all your shame. Okay, so when I'm doing flour, when I need flour in a baking recipe, where the fuck does X go? When I'm doing flour, somebody's calling me, Zach's calling me. Sorry, Zach. Um, <laughs> do you think he's going to yell at me or do you think he knows I'm streaming? He's probably going to tell me, why does it say you're playing Dark Souls? Anyways, I'm busy, Zach. Okay, so... I stir up the flour with a, with a spoon and spoon it into the measuring cup. Um, this recipe doesn't say how many grams of flour you want. Otherwise, I would measure it because I have found in my baking uh, experience that you can, um, if you do the whole scoop it and pack it, it's going to be way too much flour. So instead, you want to do this. And I know I'm getting it everywhere. That's fine. I rent. <laughs> that doesn't mean that... My landlord cleans my apartment, though. No, it's fine, though. 
this table has seen more than its share of cookie and bread ingredients thrown all over it. Okay, there's two. Okay, let's check out a chat how we're doing. High train reverse hit level five. No, what we're doing, I'm at the top of food and drink category. <laughs> Suckers. Okay, um, anyway, so we're on what? Oh, I almost lost cotton in my flower. No, we're on cup three, right? Okay, for that. I think what we'll do, since since we hit hype train level five, I have to make two kinds of bread at once. All right? And so I've measured my flour for the zucchini bread. How much do I need for the banana bread? Oh my God, okay. I only need one cup for the banana bread because you know the bananas, it's actually only one loaf, whereas the zucchini recipe is two loaves, which I think since I only have two bread pans, I'll probably be making one of each and then make the other zucchini bread off stream. Uh, thank you again for everybody logging in, checking it out. Thank you to also subscribers, gifters, hype trainers, everybody uh, making this just so much fun and awesome. Um, like I said, since I hit the hype train, I also got to make uh, banana bread at the same time. And uh, so, okay, now we're on salt. Do they both need salt? They do both need salt. Okay. And uh, they're both going to be delicious. And while we're baking them... I don't know. I guess I'll have to do something else while they're baking. <laughs> I don't know. We'll figure something out. Maybe that's when I'll maybe that's when I'll whip my dick out like everybody was. Not everybody. One person suggested. Okay. So. Okay. Salt. Okay. Now, normally I don't pour the salt right over the bowl because this salt thing I have sucks and will fucking like freak out and just dump it off. But I figure it's okay. See one teaspoon of salt in here. Okay, and now the salt can go away. Good. See, we have a system. It's important. You know, baking, there's science and math to it, and it's kind of a factory sort of thing, you know? So we need one teaspoon of baking uh, soda in here, and we need a half of one in that. So I need to get another. Man, I'm using like every bowl and every measuring spoon that I have. Pretty dope. When I walk back there, can you guys hear me okay? This isn't even that... Oh, did Zach change the stream name? What'd he change it to, that little fart? I can't get over to the thing. what do he do? Let me see. Timmy is making zucchini bread. Oh, no, I don't even know what it says anymore. Sorry, you guys. I'm really bad at, like, looking at things. Okay. Okay. Yes, dude, I would love, uh... I would love to do, uh, someone just said, I hope Darren can do it. I would love for people to enjoy this and to do it more. Um, because it's, it's just fun, obviously. And dude, I have so many ideas. I was just talking about how this time of year is when you start baking all the crazy stuff for the holidays. So, you know, how many fun things can we bake then? It'd be great. So, uh, you know, you can watch me make some goddamn Christmas cookies, that kind of thing. Okay, so now we're on to the baking powder, which, oh, I have a new can of this. I haven't even opened it yet. Ooh. So we need one teaspoon in the banana bread. Mix and the same for the zook. All right, so there's that. And I believe cinnamon is the next step. We're also going to need some vanilla. Okay. Uh, no cinnamon in the banana bread, but lots of cinnamon and zucchini bread. One, two, three. You know why I'm probably at the top of the food and drug, food and drug, what? Food and fuel, cooking? Food and cooking is because I properly spooned the flour into the measuring bowl. This, uh, what is this reflection that's like right on my gut? It's like, well, that's kind of cool. It's like now I got like a stripe of light. You guys know those, uh, the part of UHF where it's just like that weirdo with the mop with the kids show. Or like the weird guy in the apartment with a bunch of animals that he throws around. Yeah, I'm sure it doesn't feel similar to this at all. All right. Teletubby vision. I should have some music playing in the background. You know, that's a great idea, except Twitch always comes down on you for fucking music, man. So if I had it on, it would be, uh, they would um, shut me down. You know, uh, not shut me down like you wouldn't be able to watch, but for anyone who wants to watch later, it'd probably be cut out for like copy copyright problems, you know. Okay, flour, salt, baking powder, soda, and cinnamon. Did I do all that? I did. Okay, and then over here we got flour, baking powder, soda, and salt. Okay, 
Got all the dry ingredients mixed up. Next up, we're gonna do wet ingredients for the zucchini bread. Zucchini bread gets the bigger bowl because it's gonna be more of it. So in there, we're gonna need eggs, oil, vanilla, and sugar. Yeah, fucking good stuff, man. Vanilla, fucking sugar. I had it, where'd I put it? Here we go. Cool, all right. And vegetable oil, which, you know, it's kind of like weird. Oh, I still got a bunch right here. Cool. Just sing first while you cook. All right. What have I been listening to a lot? Uh, I've listened to Operation Ivy. Is that does that make me sound old? Guess what? <laughs> um, what's that? So, uh, <clears throat> uh, see, he asked me to sing on the spot, and now I can't think of anything. But even that, what would even that be a problem with their copyright stuff? It probably would, right? They'd yell at me for doing that, for having fun. It's okay. Timmy is killing it. Thank you, everybody. Blue Oyster Cult, Robert Tower. I've been listening to Ivy, right? So, um, what do we got? We got, uh, all I know is I don't know. And I was trying to explain to my daughter that that's, like, a good, um, way to approach life is all I know is that I don't know nothing. Because if you think about the people in your life or in the world or on the news that act like they know everything... They're dickheads, and they know nothing, right? So you can't really be smart if you already think you know everything, because how are you going to fucking learn anything? That's the only way to get smart. Um, what a weird way to say that point. I'm sure it's been said much better in, like, the Robin Williams movie or something. Okay, so we got one cup of vegetable oil. Do I need any on this one? They only need a tablespoon over there, okay, for the banana bread. That's fine. Okay, we're going to, and i got to do the sugar and eggs, lots of eggs. Um, I don't know if these are farm eggs from Lee. No, these might be store eggs, but my friend Lee brought me some farm eggs, too. He's also the guy that gave me the zucchini. He's definitely my agricultural supplier, for sure. All right, eggs. I don't know if there's a better way to crack eggs. Uh, I just crack them on the bowl and do it as gingerly as possible, you know what I mean? Because you're always, you're always going to get a little shell, and you know there's always that possibility. Yeah, I hope Zach didn't have anything important. Or maybe he was just trying to troll me. I, I can't be on the phone and do this, you know. I get eggs on my phone. Anyways, he's a very nice man, and I'm sad that I missed his call. Okay, so we're going to use this bowl for the wet ingredients for the banana bread, which we need mashed bananas, peanut butter, brown sugar, yogurt, egg, and canola oil. So we'll do the bananas in there first. See, I had a bag of banana bread ingredients ready to go in case this happens. Take notes. Maybe move your phone above the cookbook so you can read chat too. Yeah, I, I will. Thank you for that good tip, which you'd think I would have a thought about that, but I'm not very smart. But obviously, I, I, actually, what I meant is that uh, I'm charging my phone right now because I have like a day job as an insurance agent, and uh, today, due to some other things going on, I was alone in the office all day long, which is crazy. And I had to have my phone on um, so I could watch porn. Did anyone else notice that I just threw the banana peel into the bowl for banana bread instead of the bananas? There we go. This is why you guys need to fucking, you know, you need to tell me when I'm doing that kind of thing. Okay. What's with the hairnet? Well, have you ever cooked before? Have you ever eaten hair before? It sucks. Every once in a while I'll be cooking for my daughter without a hairnet. And uh, she'll be like, eh, and that's just like the worst feeling in the world. You don't want to, especially your own kid, you don't want to see them do that. You don't want to see them pick your hair out of their mouth because you fucked up making dinner. No, it makes you feel like a goddamn horrible person, which you are. So, you know, uh, that's why I'm wearing the hairnet. Plus, I don't know if you notice this. I don't know, this other thing about the hairnet you might not have noticed, I look silly. Okay, so now we're going to mash some bananas. I have a potato masher. Uh, works for mashing potatoes. Um, mashing bananas, you know. Mashing, uh, I don't know. What else can you mash? What else do you mash much? Uh, oysters? Anyone have mash oysters? What kind of insurance do I sell? Um, auto and home mainly. And it's a pretty chill office. We don't do a lot of like... We don't do any, like, hard sell kind of trying to sell shit to people. We just kind of um, help people get what they need because insurance is one of those uh, 
necessary evils of capitalism since we worship money and the world runs on money if you fuck up you'll need some money and if you don't have enough then what do you do so that's what insurance is and you know there you go and no I don't mess with health insurance at all so my the owner of our little office does and I always feel bad for her around this time of year because you know health insurance is just a fucking nightmare and if you're trying to help people get it it's just crazy so I mean you know it's just all that's crazy you know what maybe I should just uh, make bread on uh, the internet for a living instead right does that work probably probably I should okay so I got mashed up bananas there so next I need a uh, peanut butter brown sugar you oh fuck I forgot to buy yogurt. I need yogurt for the banana recipe. Oh my God, what am I gonna do? Oh, can I use, I think I have an idea. Fucking yogurt. Uh, well, okay, for people using that emoji of the guy with his head in his hands, I mean, yeah, I deserve it. But also, uh, I did not know for sure that I'd be making banana bread. It was a hype train thing. But yes, I should have been ready and had some, right? Oh well. Um, you know what would be funny is if I just like text my my mom to bring me some yogurt. <laughs> she lives like not even half a mile away. Cream cheese banana bread. What about uh, sour cream? Use piss and shit and cum. No, I'm not gonna do that. I give my bread away to people. I don't. They don't need to eat my piss and shit and cum. It's bad enough just knowing me. They don't need to like eat my excrement and body fluids okay so in this one I have eggs and oil we need vanilla I love vanilla and I think this one's gonna run out I think I have more ready to go though so all right we need three teaspoons of that one two okay that one had two teaspoons left so I need one more mm -mm -mm -mm. so someone uh, I'm pretty sure, oh yeah, there we go. Pretty sure you can substitute uh, sour cream for yogurt, right? Does that sound weird? Does that sound like something you would not want to do? I need to text my mother immediately. Tammy, what is your, wait, that was a real question. What is your favorite food item to bake? Well, I love all the stuff I'm making right now, but my very, very, very ultimate number one favorite is molasses cookies like ginger snaps you know they have different names in different places um but i have a recipe for my step grandma and uh she uh she had a very good recipe and then over a she gave it to me she made it for she brought me the christmas cookies once i was like holy shit donna jesus christ donna fucking ass donna these cookies are incredible so my mom and i uh beat her up until she gave us the recipe. And uh, then we spent a few years experimenting with it. Uh, the amount of flour had to change a little bit, the um, amount of shortening of butter. So we, we kind of fucked with it for a while. Now they're pretty good. I actually sent each of the whitest kids a batch of it not that long ago, so. All right, the wet ingredients over here. Okay. How much yogurt am I supposed to use? A fourth a cup? You know what? Is it just me, or could I use a fourth cup of uh, sour cream instead? That really, really seems to me like it'll work, right? Because, I mean, yogurt doesn't taste that great, neither does sour cream, so you should put it in a sweet bread. Someone said something about sour cream. Okay, what did they say? You can. Sour cream works. A lot of these people are saying that I don't trust any of you, but I think we'll just go with it anyways. It's only a quarter cup. And you know what? If this shit ends up being bad, right? If the... Uh, if it ended up being not a good idea and the bread doesn't taste good, we'll just send it to Zach. So, you know, that works out. All right. So here we go. A uh, quarter cup of sour cream for banana bread. This feels right, though, right? This feels like something that a grandma would do. Don't you think? Doesn't it seem like a good grandma move? Like, oh, I don't have any yogurt. I'll use uh, that other kind of cow thing. Yeah. Timmy, I want your body. I like that. It's me from the old days. Oh, yeah, what's up, Rabioids? How you doing? Uh, Rab, Rabioids are, I, I probably never said your name right, so. Anyways, Rabioids was an old, uh, on my old streaming channel back in the Dizzy. And, uh, 
So good to see you again, pal. How are we doing? You know, uh, my phone app has never actually successfully showed the video. Isn't that weird? But is everybody seeing it okay? Is everybody seeing it okay and hearing me okay? Hearing me all right? My God, I love to drink water. Okay, so we gotta put some peanut butter in the uh, banana bread recipe. Yeah, you sound fine. Audio is fine. Wait, is the video fine? I mean, people are saying I look hot and stuff, so I'm guessing the video is not working. Okay, so how much? So this needs a third cup of unsweetened, I think this is sweetened, fuck it. We use sour cream instead of yogurt. We don't give a shit. All right, so third cup of crunchy peanut butter. You know, it's crunchy, that way we don't need to chop up more nuts. I bet that's the uh, reason there, you know what I mean? People are gonna be like, why, was, why does he not know the reason behind putting things in his own recipe? Well, okay, so what I do is I Google recipes on the internet and I print them out and I make them and when I like them I keep it and maybe I'll futz with it here and there different ingredients whatever different amounts of things but I'm so unorganized and all over the place that what I end up with is this it's just a pile of fucking recipes that I like so I told my daughter today I said listen here's what you're gonna give me for Christmas you're gonna take all my recipes put them in a binder and like organize them for me. She's like, that sounds fun. I was like, it's not gonna be fun. That's why I've never done it, but that's what you're doing for Christmas for me. So, you know, there we go. I have the ass of a stallion. Timmy is crunchy. Let's be honest, the only thing keeping us with Zach is cherry. You know, I haven't, I've worked during the day and I know Zach streams during the day a lot lately and uh, I feel bad because I'm sure it's so much fun to watch him play Dark Souls and all those games because I, I'm really bad at those rogue games, you know, where it's like, hey, this is super hard, and if you die, you're fucked. Like, I can't handle that, man. I need, like, a chillin'... That, I'm, like, really into, like, Breath of the Wild, Animal Crossing, fucking uh, Skyrim. Just wander around in the woods. Because I'm a very, like, hey, kind of person all the time, so that's what I need, right? Um, tomorrow night, actually, I'll be streaming Fallout 1, which has its own pace to it. You know, anything where you can go at your own pace, you don't have to... Uh, freak out that's kind of the stuff that I like so all right what else do I have in here got, got a bananas the peanut butter yogurt egg and then we need the oil how much oil do I need in there oh just a tablespoon just a tablespoon of that okay fuck there we go cool there's that the canola oil is done for the day. Good work, uh, oil from the canola. What the fuck is the canola? Is it, what is a canola? Is that a flower? Is this flower oil? No, wait, oil is from seeds, right? Can you tell I'm having a stroke? Okay. Um, why is Darren the only White Skits member without a Wikipedia page? I don't know. What do we do, gotta do to get you to play WoW on stream? Um, give me a better computer and give me a lobotomy because there's no fucking way would I enjoy doing that. Okay. Um, Got a canola oil, egg. Oh, we need brown sugar in there. Okay. Meanwhile, in the zucchini bread, let's not, let's not, you know, if you're just joining, the reason I'm making two different kinds of bread at once is because we hit the hype train and I last minute decided, hey, here'd be a fun hype train thing. I'm gonna fucking, have, if we hit the hype train at five hundred uh, level five, I'm gonna make two different kinds of things at once. That was insane. What was I doing? But here we are. So, you know, you're gonna have a good time. Ooh, I think I'm out of brown sugar, which is fine. This brown sugar was drying out anyway. It's fucking piece of shit sugar. Okay. All right, get rid of that. I don't know if you guys can see over here, but this is, uh, this is a portion of the nut tower that Darren sent me. Very pretty nut tower. I've been eating some of it. It's a really good nut tower. We like it. All right. So in here, I've got mashed bananas, peanut butter, brown sugar, yogurt, it's just sour cream. I ran out of it. I didn't have yogurt. Egg, canola oil. Okay. There we go. Yes. Good. Oh, that looks very good. Stirring it. Okay. You guys can't even see that one. So here we are stirring the bananas, peanut butter, brown sugar, egg, sour cream because we didn't have yogurt, but it's okay. Look at that. Oh, yeah. That's some delicious goddamn goop. Tell you what. 
Meanwhile, let's get the, we gotta get the zucchini bread going because I think it takes longer to cook too. And if I don't go, if I go too slow, I'm gonna forget what I didn't put in yet and fuck it up. Okay, so we did the eggs, did the vegetable oil, gotta do sugar. And I already did the vanilla. All right. Oh, and then we're good. Okay, so this is like the last ingredient I have to add to anything. There's one cup of sugar. This is a lot of fucking sugar. Welcome to the Midwest. <laughs> oh my God. I bet I'm way too much of a sweet tooth former fat guy to try this, but I'm 99% sure you could do like half the sugar in this and it would probably still taste great. But I'm not a fucking pussy. Okay. All right, cool. Here we go. So um, we're almost ready to bake these fucking things. So that's cool. I didn't expect it to go so smoothly, but there you go. Um, the last thing we need is get the chocolate chips ready for the banana bread. And then we already got the nuts and zucchini, grated zucchini, and chopped nuts for the zucchini bread. So first off, I'm gonna use my hand mixer. See, look, someone called me unprepared. This has been sitting there with the thingies in it the whole time, and it's already plugged in. I fucking prepared. Oh, yeah. So what I'm doing is mixing up let me see if I can get that on camera. That's eggs, sugar, vanilla, oil. That's about all that's in there, right? Yeah. Just real good classic baking ingredients. Get your fat, keep things moist so everything just slides down your throat and turns into fat and diabetes in your system. Yeah. Okay. So that's good. So now we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna use all my spatulas today too, apparently. All right. So we got that beat up pretty well. And now I put the flour, this is the zucchini bread over here. This is gonna be zucchini bread. Gonna put the flour and uh, baking powder, soda, salt, all that stuff, and cinnamon, lots of cinnamon, in here. I actually wanna mix it up a little more. I should check chat and see how people's audio is accepting the mixer. All right. I want a 24 hour Timmy stream. Timmy makes bread no death run, is <laughs> what it says. Uh, I. I don't have anything set up right now to look at the stream very well, except on my phone, and it's not really working that well. So, anyways, okay, so I've got my uh, flour, cinnamon, salt, etc. Ooh, you see that? Okay. Anyways, that mixture is ready to go to put into the zucchini bread. I just want to get it kind of stirred up a little better. Here we go. All right. So, you know, one thing, if I'm going to become an online cooking diva, like, you know, those characters from that mystery, what was that movie? Where the hot girls, one of them has a cooking blog and the hot girl solve a mystery. Simple plan. Okay. Simple plan? No, that's a band. What is that what that what was that movie called? Does anybody in chat know? It's got a Anna Kendrick and then another gorgeous lady, Blake Lively, and they're wearing all the cool dresses and like cool pantsuits and shit. Then they like solve some sort of they get involved in some sort of crime. But the one of the characters is a mommy blogger video cooker. So what I'm getting at in a roundabout way it's probably not very entertaining, is that uh, I should do that, right? Simple favor? Thank you. Pitch perfect. <laughs> a simple plan. Wait, is a simple plan the one that sang that amazing song? How could this happen to me? I made my mistakes. You guys remember that one? Now, I don't actually like that song, right? Like, I don't think it's actually a good song, but... I listen to that song all the time because I think it's fucking hilarious, right? Here we go. Oh, is that from Gossip Girl? Or are you saying that because I said Blake Lively? Is that her name? It's like gorgeous, but she is. And she was great in that movie too, great. They both are. I like that movie quite a bit. You know, I think I kind of figure out the plot. And then there was that other beautiful guy. Uh, who was that hot dude in it? Henry Golding? Man, that, that's a lot of hot people in that movie. Speaking of hot people, if anybody used to watch my old stream, you know that I'm borderline obsessed in almost an unhealthy way with uh, Timothy Oliphant. I found out he's uh, going to be in 
that Fargo show suit, and he's also, I watched that movie Rango with my daughter the other night, and he's, his voice isn't that. All right. Hot dudes with Tim in Daring wearing a helmet like that. What? Is my oven preheated? <laughs> yes, it is. I turned that on before I even started this. But we might have another problem because the banana bread has to bake at a hotter temp than the zucchini bread just by 25 degrees. But I don't know if there's any professional chefs out there. If there were, I'm sure they've left by now. But if you've managed to hang in there just to torture yourself, um, maybe let me know if you'd think it'd be okay if I just cook it. I'm assuming it would be because it's not a huge difference. Okay, stirring zucchini and nuts until well combined. Here we go. So this is the zucchini bread batter. Just pretty much normal bread stuff, except there's no yeast. You don't have to put, by the way, you don't have to put yeast in zucchini and banana bread because the uh, fruit and vegetables, fruit and banana bread, vegetables, well, zucchini's technically fruit too. Anyways, you put this stuff in there and it kind of creates the body itself and there's not really any rising that needs to happen. So anyway, so now we got the zucchini. And the nuts in there. And by the way, the zucchini was so big that my friend Lee gave me. You know, I told Lee, hey, I'm going to get on the internet and just tell everybody how big and healthy and nutritious your zucchini is. How well your zucchini can sustain me and my family. Anyways, Lee's zucchini. All right. This is going to make two loaves of zucchini bread, okay? I've already made two other loaves of zucchini bread and a, and a batch of zucchini brownies. There is still this much zucchini left. Like a half of a good half of a big one, right? So, like, that's another batch of brownies, dude. That is crazy. That is, that's a, that's disgusting. You should be ashamed of your huge, bulbous, perfectly shaped, healthy, nutritious, uh, fresh, crisp zucchini. I don't, you know, obviously there was a dick metaphor there. I don't know if you'd say crisp her penis like and then she touched his crisp crisp penis can you say crisp penis on this yeah i'm sure you can right i don't know who i was asking back there nobody's ever been okay i need to look at chat a little bit to see what you guys are talking about so the zucchini bread batter's done that's dope uh all i'm gonna have to do is get the uh the pans greased up here in a moment so we don't really need the electric mixer and well maybe i'll use it on the banana bread okay so banana bread is right here and right here timmy you're going to post your oh man i missed it timmy you're going to post your bread recipe somewhere you know these are just recipes i found on the internet and have made them enough times that i i think they really really work so um I'm an excellent Googler. Maybe it was just my Googling abilities that brought me to these perfect bread recipes. All right. We got the whole wheat flour, baking powder, baking soda, and salt. Yes. You got the bananas, peanut butter, brown sugar, yogurt, egg, and canola oil. Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. It wasn't yogurt, right? It was sour cream. Okay. So now I got to... Oh, this... I'm actually supposed to put the wet stuff in with the dry stuff. That's okay. I think it's a big enough bowl. He said before his he had a bunch of shit flying in his face. All right. Remember when I said I wanted to see how chat was doing and then didn't look? Yeah, I should do that in a second, right? Okay. Now I use a nice spatula with like a flat or sharp or whatever square rubber edge. You really get that stuff out of your bowl. Get every little drop of goodness in there you know what i mean you don't want to it makes your dishes cleaner when you have to clean them i mean some people clean their dishes i don't and then uh but also you know it's better for the um it makes the bread better you know it makes the thing better you know because baking is uh, like i said a little bit ago it's got a math and a science kind of thing to it so especially if you bake a lot and you start to get your own recipes going and you get everything figured out to like a science it's a uh, it's kind of fun that way, but so it's nice to be exact. You know, I, I sometimes use a food scale to measure my baking ingredients, but these recipes don't have them. Uh, they didn't mention the grams. Maybe they did and I didn't read it. No, they don't. So I just didn't do it this time. But um, a lot of times, especially with uh, flowers and uh, with flour and stuff like that, it's good to um, do that. So the banana bread's almost prepared too. Okay. All right, now we stir in chocolate chips. Fuck yeah, candy. 
Fuck yeah, candy. Three fourths of a cup. Whoa, one just flew on the floor. I have to eat that later. All right. Now, you know, a lot of times I don't like to measure an ingredient over the bowl in case extra spills over. But this is fucking chocolate. Cool. All right. Plenty of chocolate for me to eat later. Just eat it out of a bag later with a glass of milk. You know what's good? M&Ms and water. Anyways. All right, Timmy, you have more energy than me, and I'm in my 20s. Well, I'm not that much older than you. You got Timmy, you got any Rohypnol? Never. All right. Timmy, did Sam brought you some gift, or was it Darren? Um, well, Darren sent me this, which is a, a stack of boxes that each have nuts in it. Um, I don't expect gifts from anybody. Then another, my friend Adam, who, uh, if you guys didn't know, I also am working on getting a ska podcast going, a podcast about ska music. And, uh... My buddy Adam, who's one of the... Uh, it's me and two other smart people who know a lot about ska. Uh, people who are smart, I'm not. And um, so one of those guys went to his favorite pizzeria in Brooklyn, and apparently they... Uh, Roberta's, and they package, like, freeze and package their pizzas and can, like, send them across the country with dry ice and everything. So they did that. And so he sent me that. And my God, that was some good pizza. Roberta's and Brooklyn. What was it? It was a Sinclair Jr. and a uh, just a margarita pizza. But uh, that was great. So it was good, a spicy pizza ball. Right? Okay. Do you still stream games on your personal channel? I do have a personal channel. Um, I'm not going to use it because now we have a White Skits channel and there's lots of people that come to this channel and it's a lot of fun. Plus, if you have, uh, if you're new to the whole official WKUK Twitch and YouTube experience, we're using all these platforms to help make a movie, a White Kids animated movie. And um, so really, if I'm going to mess around online and have people watch, I'll just do it here since we kind of have an end goal in mind, you know? Um, so anyways, yes, I do stream games. And I used to a lot of my own, but now I'm going to do it here. And uh, it's going to be fun. So I might do that tonight while we're baking the bread. But tomorrow, I'm at some point going to hop on and stream Fallout 1 for a while. Um, the last time I streamed games was a few weeks ago, and uh, there's a reason it has been a few weeks, and I'll tell you that in a minute. But anyways, last time I streamed games was a few weeks ago. I played a little Vice City, but I didn't have the controller set up, like, mapped right through Steam, so it was nuts. Like, I couldn't do it. So I switched over to Fallout for a little bit, and this, the chat helped me make a Fallout 1 character, who I don't remember. If anyone else is there, you can pipe in, but uh, I think he was, like, uh, we made it a man... Uh, and we made them old, I think, and very, very dumb, I think. Which is kind of what I think about old people. But anyways, there's a thing in my wall moving. Oh, yeah, okay, so that's the streamer art mobile kind of thing my daughter made. And what we forgot about when we hung it up here is that the air conditioning and heat register is right under it. So, yeah, it'll move and also makes noise. It's kind of fun to have a weird monster hanging out in your kitchen that can move at any time and you don't really know. Anyway, so uh, we made my Fallout 1 guy very dumb, and we'll see what happens there. Okay, so what I just did there while I was yakking was took some soft butter and uh, greased up the bread pans, and then you're also, I believe, supposed to flour them. The banana bread one, you do not have to flour. The zucchini one, you do. Zucchini can get kind of sticky and stuff, so the zucchini one, you do flour that. So I need a little extra flour I think I put away, didn't I? Yep. I'm just glad I had enough flour for all this, and I still have enough for zucchini brownies. Anyway, so let's bring a little flour in there and get it mixed around. Oh, yeah. And uh, actually, I'll probably put more in, because the last time I made zucchini bread, I don't think I floured it enough, because those fuckers got stuck in there pretty good. So, all right. So that's the zucchini bread thing. I didn't, I, I didn't end up seeing uh, people's opinions. You think if... The banana bread is supposed to be cooked at 450. The zucchini bread, is, or no, the b banana bread is supposed to be at 350. The zucchini bread is supposed to be at 325. I can just put the banana bread in there on a cooler temp, right? I mean, I think that's fine, right? What happened to why the hell and Timmy? Wow, that's a, that's a rare, obscure reference, my friend. Um, okay, actually, e dog, and it's, I, I hate the whole Twitch. Uh, Thing that people do where you just ask the same question over and over and over and over again but 
I like this question, so I'll answer it. Normally, I try to ignore that. Um, but so someone keeps asking, where did why the hell's Timmy and Seth Dakota go? Which is a weird sentence. But what they're referring to is a podcast that me and my friend Brian made. Uh, Brian is actually on the Ska podcast I was just referencing, too. But uh, six-ish years ago, Brian and I were making a podcast called Why the Hell is Timmy in South Dakota? And because Brian and I were friends, and he just thought it was very interesting that I ended up here again after the TV show and everything. So for once a week for like two years, he would call me and just talk about whatever for five minutes that it was we had a timer set i had like a old school timer set and so it would ring right it would ring at five minutes and then i would say i gotta go my cookies in or in the oven every time and so that's uh that was the why the hell is timmy in south dakota podcast um it was a lot of fun to do i have no idea if anybody listened to it i'm extremely surprised that someone in the chat was mentioning it like we really thought we were just kind of putting it on his Tumblr back in the day. We really thought we were just doing it for our own fucking amusement. The, it's a funny... Uh, I don't even know if it's still out there. I, we, we might have to... I don't think that website exists anymore, so I think we'll have to um, dig it out and post it somewhere because it was a lot of fun, and really, you could post all 80 episodes or whatever the hell it was. Uh, it's not going to be very long because they're only five minutes each. Um, there might have been a longer one. I think there was one we did about serious stuff like about my divorce or something serious so there might have been one longer one but in general it was uh silly and only five minutes so what i'm saying is you could probably put the whole thing on one youtube video okay so the banana bread is poured into the pan here's what it looks like nice delicious goop i'm not gonna stick my finger in it but whatever Given that the banana bread is supposed to be cooking at a higher temp than we're going to, I'm going to put it in first and let it kind of just do its own thing for a while. Okay. So this zucchini bread recipe is for two loaves. Now, I only have two bread pans because I'm like a single guy that lives with a, a tiny child. So I don't need to make that much bread, but, you know, you think that, and then here we are. So uh, I'm going to have to just cook one loaf and then um, do the other later. Where the fuck did I put my other spatula? Oh my god. Dude, it just disappeared. What? Anybody, anyone in chat see where I put my other red spatula? Dude, wh what? What did I do? What's a DMing for chaotics like? <laughs> That's a lot of fun. We have a blast. Oh, there it is. I found my other spatula. Uh, we have a blast doing that. I think the other guys enjoy it. Um, I know the other guys enjoy it. I, I can just feel the joy when they just, like, you know, fuck with each other, fuck with me, you know, or just do something. But you know what? You know, I've, I've always gotten Guff as, like, the nerdy one of the whitest kids or whatever. Um, I do think... Now, Sam had played the game before. I'd played before. But I do think that some of the other guys that maybe never saw it as like a cool thing to do before now realize like, oh my god, this is so much fun. Because uh, that's, you know, it is fun to do that kind of RPG. Why am I trying to look like Aragorn? Uh, have you seen that movie? That guy's fucking awesome looking. Why would you not try to look like Aragorn? What kind of question is that? It's like, why, it's like if someone asked me like, Timmy, why are you trying to look like Courtney Cox? Like, oh, Courtney Cox is cool. Okay, so here's a... Uh, Pouring, oh yeah, look at that fucking batter go. Oh yeah. Now, the thing is, is I normally cook both of the loaves worth of zucchini bread batter at once, so it makes it easy to see how much to put in each one, but now, I don't know, so I'm guessing I did an okay amount here, so we'll just kind of see what happens. That's where my food scale would have come in, right? If I would have measured it, then halved it, and then figured out how much to put in here. That's okay, though. We'll whip out the old food scale some other time. I'm trying to clean this off the edge, but that's just not going to happen. All right. So let's put this stuff in the oven, right? Courtney Cox is cool. Does this stream make you one hungry, two aroused, three all of the above? All of the above. Uh, Silfet, I think that is a very funny observation of the Bucks and Myers thing. I think, uh, in fact, I think... Both Sam and Zach, I think, mentioned something like that in the very 
in the very first episode, they say, like, do we really want to just become a dirty sketch comedy troupe in this world? <laughs> and Trevor's uh, apparent, you know, uh, opinion on that is yes. <laughs> it is funny, though. I do think it would be also fun, not fun for y'all to watch, but fun to do in private sometime, is to actually play, like, a non-insane D&D game with those guys. But that begs the question... I mean, you got me, Trevor, Sam, Zach, Darren. If you tried to do a non or a real serious, non-silly, whitest kids RPG, is that even a thing? Can that even happen? Probably not. Okay, I got both bread loaves in the oven. We need to set a timer. I got about an hour before Sam's going to come on and play games with his brother. I think we can at least get the banana bread done. We'll cook everything for 50 five zero minutes right now and see how it goes and maybe i can figure out how to grab my laptop and once things are looking good in the oven we'll just go over there although then you'll see how dirty my oven is nah never mind <laughs> no thanks so now we have some time you guys just want to watch me clean my kitchen right yeah is that like an erotic thing is that like asmr for some people just watching a schlubby man clean his small dirty kitchen I just want to say thank you for the hours of fun for me. Do you mean the, oh, hey, thank you, whoever that was. I didn't catch your name before it zipped up. Let me see you go back to it. Thank you, Desolate Reality. <laughs> I love when someone has a real bummer of a screen name that says something nice like, like, hey, I think you're really great. You really enjoy what you do, and you make people happy, and that's really cool. Desolate Reality. That rules. I love that kind of shit. Anyways. Also, I haven't said it in a while, so uh, thank you to everybody who's subscribing and doing all the hype train stuff and and uh taking part in the streams we really really appreciate it it's gonna be it's so much fun to do this you know i don't think any of us really ever planned to do this and we just kind of started doing it this summer uh same thing with the youtube channel where we're doing the rp and the rpg thing itself it's like all these things we just kind of we just do things you know and um that's just what happened so Anyways, I don't think any of us ever plan to do it, but it's been really, really fun to uh, have it happen. So, call Zach back now? All right, cool. Will the Twitch stuff continue after the movie? I think we will. I mean, right? It's fun. Should we do here? Hold on. Oh, Wonka's letting me know. Oh. <laughs> so, you guys thought that Zach changed the, the, the name of the stream when it says... Timmy and Vicky Zucchini Bride, guess it's time to change our password. No, I did that. <laughs> that was me being self-deprecating or whatever. So, um, yeah. Will I post pictures of the bread on Twitter? That is a fucking great idea, Wrongstar. Yes, I will. Thank you for the good idea. Okay, now that we're waiting for the bread to bake, let's, uh, should I play a game or something? Let me see. I didn't really get any games going, um, but we could do something. What would be a fun thing to do? You guys just want to uh, look at my magic cards with me? Are those here? Yeah, I think they are here. Okay. That'd be weird. I'm pretty sure we get sued for that, right? I don't think you can. Can you look at magic cards? Call Zach back? Yes, I should call Zach back. You're right. Okay. Where'd I put my phone? Did you guys... You're supposed to keep track of that. Where'd I put it? Wow, it's behind the computer. Okay. How does this uh, look at the lighting and stuff here? Now you can see my... Lighting umbrella, right? It's too bright. Yeah, it is way too bright. Okay. Okay. Should we call Zach while I'm sitting here? I can look at cards. MTG, please. Can I whisper my phone number? You call me now. I don't do that because you do it once, then you're doing it five fucking thousand million times. That's the thing there. And I love everybody, but I also don't want to spend the whole stream just talking to people on the phone. So, you yeah, know, whatever. Okay. Holy shit. So does this count as bad luck? Because it's like the lighting thing. It's not a real, it's not a real umbrella, right? Okay, should we should we call Zach? Okay. All right. Okay, we're calling Zach. Um, we didn't plan any pranks for him though. Do we hear this? Hey. Hey, what's up, man? What? 
What? What's going on? Oh, I'm streaming right now, and I saw you try to call me. Huh? You're crushing it. Am I having fun? Oh, good. Yeah, and uh, don't forget to thank the donators. Yes, I've been doing that, but the problem is when I'm cooking, I couldn't see everybody. But now I'm going to sit here and hang out, so then I will be able to do that. So. All right, hey, uh, everybody Everybody could hear you. No, you know, I've been so busy. <laughs> no, you know what the hype train thing was? I don't know if you've been watching. Uh, I decided right before we hit level five, I said, hey, I'm going to make two kinds of bread at once if we hit level five, and then it did, and then I was making banana bread and zucchini bread simultaneously. Oh man, oh, I'm so sorry. Well, you know, oh, but okay, I love you. Bye bye. See, that's Zach. He's a good guy. I love him so much. Okay, I also like cooking stuff and talking to chat. Should should I pursue a career in sketch comedy like you? <laughs> hey, is this working right now? Hold on. Let me uh, let me uh. Oh Jesus, that lighting is fucking terrible, isn't it? Okay, cool. I'm gonna get that fixed, and then I think I'm gonna um play a game for a little while. Um. Maybe I'll get my controller mapped uh, correctly and play some Vice City, right? All right. Wait, somebody's talking about lower the bread temp? Yeah, Zach's a great streamer. He, he uh, really, I feel like he kind of fell onto that naturally, right? You have to rotate the bread that has to be at a lower temp every few minutes. Okay, but no, I'm at a lower temp, and there's the bread that's supposed to be at a higher temp in there. So should I do the same thing? I feel like I don't need to worry about it as much. And it's only a 25 degree difference, too, uh, between what I'm supposed to be doing and what it's doing. So, okay, let's do that. Let's do this. Let's get a little light. Um, is this better? And then maybe, what if I turn this off? That looks fucking wild. You know, we don't want to do that. Okay, what if I turn that light on? Oh, that looks all right. Yeasty boys, the higher one needs to cook longer. Well, I know that. That's still way too bright on my beautiful face. You guys hear that ego getting to me? Calling myself beautiful just because people say I'm pretty in the chat sometimes? It's a slippery slope, self, self esteem. You know? That's why it's good to keep it real low and just fucking hate yourself all the time, right? Okay, well, this looks alright. <laughs> Hot dad's making bread. <laughs> you know what? If we get Darren in on this cooking thing, which I really, really want to, um, then you can definitely call it that, because, I mean, let's be serious. Darren is fucking smoking, right? So, anyways. I've definitely, as I got older, uh, had no... I have less and less of a problem just calling other dudes hot all the time. Darren, and he's a fucking babe, right? So, anyways, let's get a... <laughs> I would love it if we yeah, can continue making cooking things and have, have Darren on one. Um, Darren, at least years ago, told me that he had a pretty interesting sounding method for uh, making pizza dough. And I, had, I used to uh, make pizza completely from scratch, including the dough, the sauce, and the cheese. So I think that would be really fun to do a stream sometime where... Um, I think it would be really fun to do a stream sometime where I make part of the pizza and Darren makes the dough and then you know the we'll have the other ingredients with us since we'll be in different parts of the country but you know we show how to make different parts and then we put it together so you know uh so if you know Darren you know just start sending a message saying make pizza with Timmy <laughs> but no he's got a lot of stuff going on in his old life but hopefully we can uh, figure that out someday right so okay I'm hooking up my Xbox controller Let's see if I can figure this out. Is it convection or just bake? It's just a baking oven. Or just a, it's just an oven. I rented an apartment, so it's like, you know, okay. Let me get the uh, stream on file, on file, on what? Okay, thank you to everybody who's been uh, buying the subscriptions and, uh, and gifting them. Is that a hand-drawn Millennium Falcon? Yes, that, is, no, back there? That is a coloring book page. And uh, that my daughter did. Yeah. So, um, is it uh, choppy for everybody else? Because my feed is choppy. Am I a cholo? <laughs> it does kind of look like that, right? With this? The, no. 
I well, this is the shirt I was just wearing today, and then I also um, have a hair tie because I have long hair and I was just baking. So it is a bit okay. So all right, well let me uh, see if I can remember how to do games on here. I'm not very technically proficient, so people please hang in, hang out, and hang in there. Thank you. What should we play? You know, it'd be kind of fun. No, let's just let's just try and get Vice City to work, right? Um, so I forget the best way to do that. I don't know. Maybe I should just play solitaire. <laughs> okay. Um, I'll figure something out here. Do, 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 do. Let me bring up my Steam. Okay. Oh God, what was that? Okay. Every time I see SD, I think San Diego. You know, I lived in New York and Portland and then L.A. for a while. And then I moved back to South Dakota and I would see people CSD and I did that too. Because, you know, when you don't live in South Dakota, you don't fucking think about South Dakota. So uh, <laughs> it took me a while to get used to it again. My niceness holds... Why does it together? Thank you. I'm not really nice. So I'm kind of an ass. Like, I don't know. Kind of an asshole. Are we going to do something with Gus Johnson sometime soon? I saw you host him the other day. You know, so we raided him the other night. Um, and I'd been streaming on and off since 2016, but I had just learned what raid means the other day. Um, we've been raiding him the other night. And uh, just because people in the chat, we were like, who should we raid? And people in the chat were like, Gus Johnson. We're like, okay. So uh, we did. And uh, I think he appreciated it because I watched a little video of him realizing we were raiding him. And he was, he was cool. He seems like a cool guy. So, well, South Dakota doesn't think about me. Get fucked. <laughs> Yeah, you're right, man. Okay. Spamming what? the uh, What did we spam? Do I play the piano? Uh, I used to play a little bit. That uh, is a practice piano. My uh, my dead grandma was a uh, piano teacher before she was got dead. So, um, And my daughter uh, tinkles on it a little bit. Uh, plays on it. She doesn't piss on it. That'd be weird. Um, so, yeah. Let's see here. Let's try and get some... Uh, what if I just did this? No, that'd be weird. But I, okay, let's see if I can get Vice City to work. Okay. So if we do Vice City, that means I gotta open up this so I can see chat. Okay. Should have used Darren's nuts. Timmy, have you said why you moved to South Dakota? Um, you probably <laughs> in some Zoom at some point or something, you know. Um. The short answer is uh, got divorced, but uh, yeah, it's a whole thing. Um, you know, it's not really that fun to talk about, but yeah, I basically just kind of ran out of money and ran out of marriage and had to come back here, and that's what happened. Um, yeah, pretty sure that was someone else. What are they talking about? Okay, so let's see if I can get this to work. Oh, there's the music. Oh, we're gonna have to. You guys can hear that, but you can't see it yet. Sorry. See, I'm really bad at shit, so you're just going to have to bear with me for a second. Okay. Okay, so get that out of the way. I feel like I need, like, a dad to help me figure this out. If you like MTG, try Hearthstone. I've been thinking about that. I want to hear a Timmy Gets Mug story. Um, you know what? Maybe I will look at my magic cards. That's another thing I could do, right? Um. Anyway, so... um. Me getting mugged? Uh, the only time I... I definitely had some close calls. But, uh, you know, where I felt like, oh, God, the person's going to mug me or something. And then, like, I would cross the street or whatever. And no, it wasn't because they looked one way or another. I just sometimes, you know, you'd see another person walking late of the night on the street in New York and just be like, yeah, they seem they just get a bad vibe. Doesn't matter, you know. It's not based on any sort of physical appearance, any kind of race, whatever. But just kind of sometimes you feel like, eh, you know. I know, I, I never got mugged, but I did have a, I was drunk, I got drunk with Trevor, which happened a lot to all of us, including Trevor, and uh, got on the subway train with a video iPod, watching Battlestar Galactica at fucking four in the morning, and, uh, you know, then suddenly I'm watching it, and suddenly, oh, now the iPod's going this way, because a kid just saw me sitting on the train by myself, and just fucking grabbed it, and so I started running after him. And I had a backpack with a bunch of cash in it because I think I'd just done like a stand-up show or something. I don't know. I got paid cash for something. And so I had some cash in my backpack. So I'm chasing this kid. And then I notice his friends are behind me. I'm like, I should stop chasing this kid because then they'll get not only my iPod but also my backpack with stuff in it and money. And maybe they'll beat the shit out of me. So let's not do that anymore. Um, yeah, so let's 
cancel that. Timmy, did you watch the Vice City speed run? Um, I don't know if I did. Okay, I'm going to try and get Vice City going. Um, how do I do that? Remove. Oh, God. Yes, I want to remove that. Let's do this. It was the same kid who stole Zach's scooter. It might be the same kid. Um, I saw your stand-up in Brooklyn, South Dakota three years ago. It was awesome. Do you still do stand-up? Not really, but neither does anyone else. <laughs> um, no, uh, so what I did is, um, dude, oh, yeah, window capture. Good God, I'm so bad at uh, uh, things. Okay. Um, do I still have? No, oh, that's, oh, my God, you guys, I'm so sorry. Why is my, do I have my paint program open? No. Oh, I had that before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Anyways, um, shit, I already forgot the story. Dude, look at that. Look, I just fucking blanked out my face. Okay, there I am again. I'm sorry, you guys. You can also use game capture when the game is open. See, I'm so bad at this stuff. Kung fu movies, don't dox yourself. Okay, I'm just reading all the all the chat real quick. Um, I love how you use words. I'm not good at it. Okay, so, but thank you anyways. All right, so we're going to move this over here. We're going to make it smaller. I know we all love my face. I love my face. We're going to make it smaller so I can try and make this video game work. Um, oh, my God. You know what? I wish Twitch could somehow share smells because the banana bread that is peanut butter chocolate banana bread and the zucchini bread, which is a lot of cinnamon, which is a great smell, those are both baking in the oven right now. And they're, oh, man, it smells so fucking good in here. That's incredible. You know, normally when I bake, I bake one thing at a time. But, of course, if you bake two fragrant things at once, it's going to smell even fucking better. Dude, I'm not going to show you any passwords. What if I accidentally did, though? Um, okay. Um, so I think I do, I do have the game going, right? So, yes, I do. Okay. So I think we can make this work now. Do, 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 do. I'm really excited. I hope this works, you guys. What's it? No. Okay. Is that not how I do it? Man, I think I forgot how to do this. And there, and I'm deleted again. Or covered again. I'm sorry. Let's set this motherfucker on fire with pleasant comments. <laughs> I like that. Man, I might have to, uh, shit. No, I don't have to shit. I did that before I got on, but I have to uh, figure this thing out. Okay. Timmy, would you engage in a long-term relationship wherein we communicate like pen pals via messenger pigeons for several decades until one of us dies? You know, that sounds pretty uh, low commitment. So, yeah, I mean, fucking, why not? Okay. Let me, uh... Prefer a bunch of insoluble steam friends. Oh, because you guys could see my steam? Did you guys see it? Oh. Yeah, maybe that wasn't what I want to do. You probably did see it. No, I fucked that up, didn't I? You guys, I kind of forgot how to use OBS. You know what I should do? Don't shit on scent enabled Twitch. Dude, scent enabled Twitch would be great. Dude, it would be so fun. This is an internet mug and give me your 25 Steam bucks. Can you guys see all that? Fuck. Anyways, um, I honestly forgot how to do this. Okay, the don't change the temp when you take the zook bread out. Just rotate the bread so it cooks evenly. Yeah, I'll probably rotate the bread soon anyways. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay. I think I'm getting there, you guys. Yes, I figured it out. Okay. Here we go. And we want to put this over it, right? I'm so close. Yes, okay, so it's supposed to be working. Okay, is it working? Was it working? It was, I can't even tell if it's working. Okay. Okay. Okay, it's a dick, it better work. He could the plus sign by sources. Yeah, you guys are so bad at Add game capture, then hit OK twice. Hey, Timmy, you're a cool mofo. Thank you. <laughs> that is a good question. Someone asked, what made you decide that the people who abducted you would be your best friends for life? Which is what happened if you watched uh, Whitest Kids, you know, uh, or Whitest Kids on the... Uh, oh, my God. I'm sorry. My brain is dying. If you watched, if you watched Whitest Kids at all on the, um, 
Zoom, we told a story once where they kidnapped me. Oh my God, that is so fucking loud. I'm sorry, you guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh my God. That's crazy. Um, okay. Video, no, video capture. We want the audio, but that's not audio. Probably want that one. This reminds me of that time you interviewed yourself. Oh, yeah, right? <laughs> My banana story was riveting. I loved that. Have you guys considered filming the tabletop stuff as a skit? I don't know. You know, we're really having fun doing it the way we're doing it, so we'll, we'll see what happens. Thank you for calling me a great guy. They're not legit abusive. I mean, a lot of that is uh, played up, but uh, they're a bunch of fucking dicks. Okay, is that still super loud? That's so loud. How's it okay now? Oh, thank you, interloper. Jesus Christ. See, I'm not good at stuff. Someone just suggested that I uh, um, change... I don't want that. That I change the information to the game I'm playing. Which, yeah, you'd think uh, if I knew what I was doing, I would do that, right? Um, it's still technically a cookie... You know what? That's a good point, Super Dragon Stu Sugar Dragon Studio. It is still technically uh, a baking stream because, yes, I am still actually baking. Okay. Um... Yes, I'm gonna do that. How are we doing on? Oh wow! Thank you everybody for hanging out, and watching. I mean, I feel so flattered that you guys w would watch, want to watch me do this, or you're all just a bunch of fucking weirdos. Maybe that's the thing, right? Where did I put my? Uh... Dude, I can't find the my thing. God damn it! See, this is the problem. I feel like you guys are suddenly gonna be like, "Well, Timmy doesn't really know what he's doing." But do you watch this? To, uh, you watch this to see someone who knows what they're doing? I mean, yeah, right? Yeah, you want to watch someone who knows what they're doing. Okay. Um, you know, I've uh, screwed things up so bad on my little thing here that I don't know where the, uh, um, my little windows went where I could change the description. But you know what? Do we really need to change the description? No. We watch this for the conversation. I mean, I'm definitely a bunch of weirdos. Press one if Timmy is cute. One. I think I'm cute. No. I mean, I don't know. Okay. Let's see if I can get my, uh, let's, let's just see if we can get this game going, huh? Let's skip the uh, movie because. Now, I tried to remap this controller. Everybody's saying one. Zach was on here talking about me being awesome. You know, Zach's a great guy. One thing I've uh, really had fun with in doing all this uh, Zoom and Twitch with the boys again and everything is that... Uh... Oh, it's... Dude, I thought I had the right control. Oh, I thought I had this good... to go. Oh, there we go. Sweet. Okay, I did. Sweet. If you watched me play Vice City last time, you might remember that I... Uh didn't have the controls right and i couldn't fucking go forward in the car now we can so there we go please enable the parental controls i don't know what that means i'll get that figured out is that so that um is that so that uh oh i killed a lady is that so that if i swear it bleeps it for your kid or something because you don't want them to hear fucking swear words is timmy a hulkamaniac that's right, brother. Okay. Or was that more of a macho man thing? I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, how do you get out? Is it this? Okay, cool. So there's still some control things that are goofy here, but it's definitely going better than last time. All right, let's get a mission going. Fuck no, I don't have kids. Have I been in Miami? Yeah, we did a show in Miami, 2012-2013. It was a split bill at a comedy club in Miami. Was that Miami? Yeah. Or was am I thinking of something else? We went to Miami Comedy Festival once and performed. I remember like Mark Mayer was on the list and or on the show and or on the festival and Amy Schumer was. Who else was there? Anyways, no, that wasn't it. Okay, I think it was Miami. We we played at a comedy club and the first, they had two shows. The there was we were the second show, the late show because we say like fart or whatever and. uh so the um, other show was a hypnotist, and he went on for way too long. And uh, hypnotists aren't real, right? Lower the bit rate a little. Okay, you got it, man. Uh, I don't know what that means. <laughs> uh, let me see if I can figure out what that means. 
Did I set a timer for the bread? Yeah, I'm not a freaking amateur. That's Little Vixen, by the way, longtime uh, stream watcher from my old streams. Let's see. I don't know if I can figure out bitrate, you guys. Uh, let me see if I can figure it out. Anyways, yes, the bread is, uh, what do we got? We still got about 25 minutes left, and I know Sam and his brother are going to want to hop on soon, so we'll figure it out. The bread might not be done done, but when uh, when the timer rings, I'll eat it even if it's raw. No, that'd be gross. But I will take it out, and we'll check it out. Hypnotism is kind of real, but stage hypnotists are basically bullshit. <laughs> is zucchini bread low carb? Well, okay, so the recipe I made makes two loaves about that big, and it's three cups of flour. So I don't know if I call it low carb necessarily um definitely some carbs involved what does wkuk mean <laughs> that means whitest kids you know was the name of our our show and you know it's uh still true you know in like the in a derogatory sense okay level five hype train hey thank you to blue gill for for gifting subs Thanks for everybody who's who's uh, doing subs and uh, getting the hype train going. Let me see if I can get this oceanic car going. Let's do this. Oh, there's a hype train killing a whole bunch of people. And I got the cops involved. There we go. Yeah, but maybe we spelled it with just the letter U. Call Darren. What were you guys doing before the game? Oh, I was making bread. Does it still say that in the description? I'll get better at figuring out the description. Um, the purpose of tonight's stream was not to watch me be pretty bad at vice city it was to for me to make zucchini bread because i threatened to make it when i was pissed off the other night on our whitest kid stream self suck saturdays so uh now i make a zucchini bread and since we hit the hype train while i was making i also made uh put together a batter for uh chocolate peanut butter chocolate chip banana bread so now both loaves are in the oven and I have discovered that when you're cooking both of those at once, the smell is fucking incredible. Incredible. So, uh, yeah, and look at this guy's outfit now. Very incredible. Wonder why Vice City is so laggy and quiet it doesn't fit the screen. Yeah, I do. Wait, if I do... See, I'm not good at all that shit yet, you guys. So what if I do, uh, if I do that? Oh, yeah, it goes behind me. Okay. So I, yeah, okay, we can do that. Is it laggy? If it's laggy, I'm sorry. I'll get. To, I didn't actually plan to play Vice City tonight, so it's kind of uh, half-assed. Um, I will get it better next time. Here we go. Go to the Colonel's boat. Is this when that Colonel guy gives you a chainsaw and tells you to go murder people in the uh, somewhere? Are you going to do a weekly stream from here on out? Uh, says uh, T R T A Taylor. Also, in your first story, Vice decided the people who abducted you became your best friends. Okay. Yeah, I'm very scatterbrained. Uh, take medicine for it. Um, oh, God. Oh, no. Look what happened to me. Okay, so um, A, yes. I'm going to be streaming weekly uh, through White as Kids. Uh, obviously, we all do Self Suck Saturdays, which the reason we call it that is if we ever get to some crazy number of subscribers I hope we never hit, I will Self Suck <laughs> by Weeder, uh, which I can't do on Twitch anyways, but we'll do it on something. And then okay, so yeah, well, so I thought it was I thought the abducting me thing was funny, and so that's why uh, I kept hanging out with them. I'd already known them for a month or two, and or maybe not even that long, but a couple weeks. And then they did that. If you don't know what I'm talking about, the whitest kids abducted me not long after I met them, and the story's on our YouTube at official WKUK on YouTube. Um, anyways, but I was uh, oh I don't have any money, I can't do this. Okay. Anyways, um, so uh, they broke into my, they literally kicked the door in of my dorm and like tied me up, put a like a bandana on me and shit all over my mouth and gagged me, you know, and tried to like put me on the train or something, but it didn't really work. So anyways, uh, but I'd already hung out with them a little bit before that, and I knew that they were cool guys. I knew that they were doing this uh, to to have fun and be funny and uh, you know, and I also knew, you know, I felt in it, I felt in there. Deep down in my heart and my soul, my brain, my, uh, you know, like libido, whatever, I felt like they, they really liked me and that they wouldn't be kidnapping me if they didn't like me. So I guess what I'm saying is that the Stockholm Syndrome set in immediately. Like maybe even before they started to kidnap me, I already had Stockholm Syndrome. So anyways, uh, 
<laughs> so suck at one million subs. Yeah, get that number higher. Um. Anyways, they uh, but we kept hanging out. I I knew that they were doing that because I thought it was funny, and I have a warped sense of humor. I thought it was funny, even though uh, you know, bothered me <laughs> or not bothered me, but you know, was crazy. Uh. We eventually became buddies, uh, even more and more and more, and uh, you know. That element of uh, our interaction always been there where it's like, oh, we're picking on Timmy. But really, we all pick on each other quite a bit. Uh, I don't know if you guys ever noticed. People always like to say, Timmy, they pick on you. It's like, dude, have you ever seen how we treat Sam? We're mean to everybody. Come on. Anyways, uh, but no, it's a, it's something that I used to actually take very personally and have learned not to. Because after you go through a divorce and have a kid, you realize, like, no, that's the, the, the things they were doing was not true meanness. <laughs> things can get so much more mean. So there you go. Every election, they raised millions of dollars for each candidate, but only took $50,000 to swing an election. What? I don't want to talk about that kind of stuff. Oh, my God. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, turns out I have a kidnapping kick. Maybe I do, you know? Maybe that would have saved my divorce if uh, my ex would have just uh, busted in the door sometime and just tied me up and fucking took me somewhere and demanded money from my other loved ones. Yeah, you're right. The first season commentary does shit on Sam the whole time. So, yeah. Yeah, I think so, too. And you know what? I think we are even, uh, we're friends, and I think we even have, like, a familial brother kind of quality to the way we interact, which I know that some of the other guys would probably think that sounds lame and cheesy. But you know what? It is. And guess what? I'm lame and cheesy, and I love it. I love being a fucking idiot cheeseball nerd. So let's see how we're doing on the bread. Maybe, uh, let me check the, uh, I'm going to turn on the oven light and see how it's looking in there. Oh man, these things are looking fucking good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab them out of the oven now so you guys can see. Maybe we'll just stop with the Vice City. I mean, really, I'm not really doing that good at it, and I'm only gonna be on here for a few more minutes, anyways. So, cool. All right. So, I, I like that everybody's so nice. <laughs> what a weird, vague thing to say. Oh, I just turned that off. Fuck. God damn it. I'm so sorry, you guys. Timmy is gone. Okay, am I back now? I should be back now. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, we're just happy to connect with you guys. That fucking hairnet is so awesome. Thank you. Okay, am I back? I should be back. Okay. All right, cool. All right, there we go. All right, so I'm going to show you guys the bread. I'm going to go grab the bread out of the oven. And uh, thanks for putting up with all my weird lights and weird cinematography. Uh, I am working on getting a, a new camera soon. I just haven't sat down to order it yet. But I definitely am going to do it sooner than later. I'm going to move my light so I can get to the bread. Oh, man, these bitches looking good. Okay, so. Damn it. You know what? I need two hot pat, hot gloves. There we go. Oven mitts. I don't know how well my mic's picking me up. Did you guys just hear me call oven mitts hot gloves? Anyway, so this is the peanut butter chocolate chip banana bread. It's not done yet, but look, it is looking real sexy. So that's cool. And... Okay, zucchini bread. Man, maybe I used too much of the batter. I wonder if I did this properly, because this I was only supposed to pour about one loaf's worth in here, and I might have gotten two. Anyways, the zucchini bread is not quite as far along. It's got some liquid goo in the middle, so uh, still looking like bread, and it's going to taste very good once it is done. You know, one good lie, a great lie of uh, television and filmmaking and internet video, whatever, is that things always look bigger uh, than they are. And uh, 
So, I don't know if you guys were able to tell how fucking small my kitchen is, but anyways, I've like got a light in there and like trying to get back to check the bread is fucking nuts. Okay. Tasty squash. Magic cards and bread stream. Yeah. Okay, so that's what we'll do for the next few minutes while we uh wait for the bread. So, where's my fucking dick? And I'm saying deck, not dick, just so everybody understands. Is this mine? Let's see here. Ker ker All right, show us something bigger. Hey, oh, I'll send you two hundred dollars a month if you mail me one baked item. Man, that's not a bad gig. Just become someone's personal distance baker. Okay, so I play magic cards. I've gone through six or seven iterations of being into magic throughout my life. So I didn't have any. I'll get cards and get into it, and then sell it. Sell the cards and stop being into it, um, and uh, which is fine. But I, uh, how do I? Man, I'm still so bad at stuff. Where's the? How do I bring that up? Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. Anyways, um, oh, there it is. Okay, cool. There's the stream. Uh, there's level five emotes happening. Cool. Thank you to all the subscribers and everybody doing great stuff right now. I appreciate it. Um, anyways magic cards i uh so every once in a while i get into it but then i'll get out of it and sell my cards so my, my daughter and i during this pandemic we started playing the pokemon card game which is fun but then we i decided let's get into magic so i don't have a lot of cards so when you with the people that want to laugh at my lame deck that's why we you know we've only just started and the other person who i make magic card decks with is a nine-year-old and uh so there you go um, so I'm really into, if you speak magic, if you don't know anything about magic, it's uh, you play cards against each other, you, you take on the role of a wizard who casts spells, and uh, there's five colors, green, red, black, blue, and white, and uh, they each have different kind of spells and different strengths and weaknesses. Anyways, um, uh, I've always been an old school mono player, which means when I make a deck of 60 cards, it's spells from one color. My daughter loves to do double and multi and whatever. Here's the thing. She's nine. She's played magic cards for like three months and she like she regularly kicks my ass. <laughs> so whatever. Anyway, so I've got a uh, chimney bleep. I've thought about that. Set up a P.O. box and like, you know, because it's not like I don't need anything. I don't need people to send me stuff. And plus, the reason we have this YouTube and Twitch is to fund the movie. So, you know, if you ever want to show your support for us, you know, uh, that's the, the way to do it. There's a donate uh, link on our profile and everything so check it out um anyways uh but yeah you know i understand that in the world of online things sometimes people like to send fun things and it's fun and i send things to people there's some people in this stream who are appear to be just other twitch people that uh watched me on my old streams and became such good friends that i mailed them cookies and comic books and things now so you know we mail things to each other and i just pick my nose a little bit okay so let's i'm just gonna show you my deck <laughs> D-E-C-K, uh, that I made recently that I like. This is just an all-green deck, and it's mostly about uh, uh, making it, putting out monsters, making the monsters bigger, and then um, attacking your opponent and killing them. Oh, wait, we've lost like 30 viewers since I started talking about magic cards. Is that bad? You're going to send me a goblin statue? We want to mail you comic books. A friend of mine mailed me comic books recently, and that was that was very nice of him because um, I had COVID. Uh you know, I haven't talked about that on the Twitch a whole lot. Uh, uh, there was a Newsboys episode where they called me and um, and uh, asked about my COVID. By the way, give out for Newsboys, man. They are fun, right? Trevor and Zach. That I mean, they're both really good at that kind of stuff, uh, talking about events, sort of, and then just telling lots of fun stories. So um, uh, that's a great show. The thing is, is Friday nights, I, I have an early second gig on Saturday mornings. I have to be up at like six, so I don't stay up too late to watch the for the West Coast hours for Newsboys. But every once in a while, I catch a little bit. It's a lot of fun, dude. Pop and Floss, you are so right. Pop and Floss said magic is about drawing no lands and getting completely fucked by bad luck. I'm the opposite, Pop and Floss. The last time I played, I had a red deck. I uh, only drew lands and like ugh, just it sucked. If you don't know in magic to cast your spells you have to uh, use land. So, like, this is a green deck, so it's forest cards, right? So, uh, 
you know, but if you're not drawing enough, then you don't have enough to cast your spells. So anyways, what do we got? We got a Titanic Growth. We got Snare Spinner, Prodigious Growth. So I have a lot of cards like that in this green deck to try and make a... You put out little, little cute monsters and animals, and then you make them bigger and try and fuck the other person up, right? Um, my daughter, uh, she loves... Uh, her favorite color in magic is black. Black is one of, like, death and like uh, zombies and uh, you know when you have to discard a card or when you when you have a card out that's like a creature and it gets killed it goes in your graveyard well black says it's like black magic like necro not necrophilia that's that'd be a really crazy card game what, necro uh, what a necromancy right anyways so you know it's about like bringing uh, monsters back to life so she likes that and then she combines it with white and white is about angels and light magic and stuff so it's kind of an interesting thing to mix but she has a really great black white deck man timmy plays bogles what does bogles mean a blue white spirit deck you know what i bought some um when i was first teaching my daughter how to play i bought some pre-made decks at the store but i accidentally got like really complicated ones and it was hard because i was she's just learning the mechanics now but um it was a green black flash deck or no, green blue flash deck. And if uh, magic players will know, that means that you don't actually do anything on your turn. You play mainly with spells that let you do stuff on their turn. And then you have other things that make it so that if you play spells on their turn, your guys get more powerful. It's great. It's fun. Magic is so much fun. Um, you know, that's one reason I love the Buckers and Meyer stuff is because all these nerdy RPGs and card games have gotten they've garnered some stereotypes and flack over the years about like being dorky and being for antisocial nerds it's like no those games are all you play with people and they're fun you know makes you think yes you tim i've seen you say that a few times then you're right uh, magic arena would be a fun thing to stream maybe that's what i'll get on steam since you guys all saw that i have some credit sitting there <laughs> anyways uh but yeah, Magic's fun. Uh, RPGs are fun. I used to play the Star Wars collectible card game back in the day from a company that I don't even know if they exist anymore, Decipher. But the Star Wars CCG was fun, and I used to play at tournaments for that. And uh, I actually, uh, I never won a tournament, but I got second place, third place, a few times, you know, stuff like that. Um, oh, what's this deck? Okay, so this deck is my daughter's blue-white deck. So this is a bird deck. Um, the last time I got into Magic, I don't know, Two times, three times ago when I got into Magic, I uh, was living in Portland and my friends Danny and Josh had this blue bird deck that just destroyed me all the time. All right. Somebody just sent me a picture. I don't know who that is. Oh, <laughs> it's one of my insurance customers. <laughs> well, <coughs> insurance customer, maybe you're watching the stream too. She, I asked her to send me dimensions of her wooden porch. So I could put that, anyways, real exciting insurance talk. Let's check them right again. Oh, fuck yeah. Things are looking good in there. All right, the uh, peanut butter banana bread is looking good. I'm really worried that the bread's not going to be done before I give the stream over to Sam, but he's a real nice guy, so maybe he'll let me uh, finish up here. Cool. Come for the bread making, stay for the magic. Uh, yeah. What else do we got? Okay, so that's my daughter's blue white deck. I'm not sure if it's cool to like show the magic cards if that'll get me in trouble. So that's why I wasn't. Um, but yeah, I should definitely stream Arena or something sometime, right? That'd be fun. That is the, a coloring book page of the Millennium Falcon. Right there. Okay, uh, of the Millennium Falcon, and then we colored it in. But yes, it's most of my daughter's coloring. Can I help you get insurance? You know, the way insurance agent uh, licensing works is I can only, I'm only licensed for certain states. So unless you're in South Dakota, no dice. I can 100% show playing cards? Okay. Fuck Sam, it's Timmy time. I've been on here for almost two hours. It's going to be Sam time soon. But I'm hoping the bread is uh, finishing. I think the banana bread at least will be done in time. Which is weird because that's the one I was worried about. I think what happened is even those zucchini bread recipe, it's supposed to cook at a lower uh, temperature than the banana bread, right? So I was worried, oh, the banana bread is not going to cook as well because it's in at the lower zucchini bread temp. Well, the other thing is, I didn't know I was going to make banana bread today. It ended up being a hype train thing, right? Where I, I had to make two breads at once. So now the zucchini bread recipe is for two loaf pans. So I'm only, But I only had one to make zucchini bread since the other one's banana bread. So I poured 
what I thought was half of the zucchini bread recipe in, but I think maybe I overdid it. So I think what's in there is a fucking massive loaf of zucchini bread. So, uh, sidecar driver, uh, I know you're on there. I saw you. Uh, get ready for more goddamn zucchini bread in your mailbox. No, I don't stab it with a fork or knife sidecar. I use like a toothpick or a, I have like a long metal skewer I'll poke in there right in the middle of the bread. Polar, P.O. Box, we can send you Polaroid nudes. See, that's why I don't have a P.O. Box. I don't want Polaroid nudes. I have a, you know, I have a Reddit for, for that kind of stuff. Have I ever made fried zucchini? I don't know. Um, no. I did a recipe once where it was like cheese sticks, like you would get at a pizza ranch. I mean, if you live in a place with a pizza ranch or a Godfather's Pizza, uh, you know, where it's like flat cheese breads that you cut with a thing and they're little sticks. You know, they're not that great for you. It's just bread and cheese. Well, I made a zucchini version once where it's literally zero bread, just zucchini. And then you uh, flatten it to get all the moisture out. And then you put cheese and marinara sauce on it, just like normal cheese stick kind of breadstick things. And uh, they were fucking delicious. So I should really do that again, but it was very... Uh, it's kind of a complicated. It took a long time, but it was worth it. They were they're tasty, so I should really do it again. Thank you to everybody uh, who who keeps subscribing and gifting everything, and it's great. Uh, we really appreciate it. If you don't know, we're we're using any funds accrued through Twitch and YouTube and whatever to to make a uh, an animated Whitest Kids film soon. So um, I think we're gonna we're hoping to start some of the production of it uh, before the end of the year. So. Um, pretty cool and it's a great script and it's gonna it's a lot of fun like i said earlier i love my character in it so uh, uh yeah looking forward to it um let's see what else we got here critical moist critical penguin zero i don't know what you guys are talking about next episode brownies or cheese sticks oh next episode will be the zucchini brownies I, it's gonna take me some time to figure out the the uh cheese sticks all right cool the amount of cheese needed to make it taste is probably less healthy you're probably right does the script make you laugh? Yeah, I haven't reread it in about a year, so I should do it again. Or am I playing Pathfinder? Um, and people are asking if I play Dark Souls. I got I talked about it a little bit earlier. Zach loves Dark Souls. He loves all that company's games. I think he was playing uh, Bloodborne as well. Um, I'm so happy they make him happy. But uh, I am somebody who can't. I don't play video games for difficulty. Uh, I play them to chill out. So I was saying earlier, my favorite games recently, uh, my daughter and I have fucking loved Animal Crossing, New Horizons. Uh, you know what? Yes, this year has been terrible, but the company, who, is it just a Nintendo game? Anyways, whoever puts out Animal Crossing, I mean, how fucking lucky did they get, right? It came out at the start of like the most depressing time in American history in quite a while, you know, <laughs> at least in the last couple decades, maybe. So I don't know. Uh, you know, that's a bold claim. I shouldn't say that because uh, America's pretty depressing all the time. Anyways, um, especially if you don't look like me, it's just a fucking shit show. But anyways, uh, this year has been, you know, notably bad. And uh, Animal Crossing kind of came out right when it was uh, the pandemic was ramping up, ramping up. So um, it's kind of uh, I feel like a lot of people got into it because it's so relaxing and kind of like therapeutic. So uh, I've really loved playing it. Um, Timmy, try collectively qualifying the chat for insurance. That's fun. Yes, America did suck before COVID. I know I didn't mean to make it sound like uh, everything was fine before that, but I mean, let's be honest, though. It's also a very shitty time to be here. Anyways, um, but yeah, Animal Crossing is just so chill. I feel like it really came out at the right time, and that's why it got so popular. Um, and for the same reason, that's the same reasons why I've enjoyed games like Breath of the Wild and Skyrim, but you just walk around in the forest, right? Although I did recently get back into Bioshock. I got the Bioshock collection when I was sick with COVID a few weeks ago. Man, that for, I'm still playing the first one because I don't play games a whole lot. But, um, dude, I forgot how f fucking perfect that game is. It's just, that game is so great. Twerk and Mangle, thank you so much. You are just a huge part of why this is working. And, uh, so many of you uh, just killing it with subscriptions and the gifting and everything. We we really appreciate it, you guys. Thank you so much. Any serious MMORPG addictions in the past or present? Um, you know what? That's a trip to me. That's a good question. And i got to check the bread here in a moment, but I'll answer this and then go check it out. So uh, talking about video game addictions, never do an MMO or RPG kind of thing. But... Uh, when I was in film school, uh, 2003 or four, 2002 or three, I got really, really into Vice City. And we talked about this on stream or Twitch chat or something at some point on with what, the other way kids. Um, I dropped out of school 
And I mean, the joke answer is I dropped out of school to play Vice City. But the real answer is I dropped out of school to play Vice City. So, uh, I do it. I was just fucking obsessed with that game. And, um, I got to a hundred percent and I don't know if you've, ever, if you've ever 100% at Vice City, but all like what ch happens is you get all the packages, all the missions, all the stunt jumps, all that stuff. You get a hundred percent. And then now when you go into your living room and your mansion, there's some guys sitting there like stereotypical hitman gangster looking guys. And then you can hire them to run around with you. Right. Anyways, uh, so that's what it, it took me a long time to do it. And I did it. I dropped out of school. That's why I was playing it because I thought it would be funny since I had mentioned it before on one of our Twitch stream things to play Vice City again. But I'll figure out the buttons and do a real serious Vice City stream sometime. Since I'm going to go soon, I'm going to check the bread because I bet the banana bread's about ready. And um, Sam and Sam from Whitest Kids and his brother are going to be on playing Fall Guys and doing some other fun stuff. He told me they have some fun plans. So make sure you just stick here and keep watching the, the stream tonight. It's gonna the fun's not over. It's only half over. So Sam will be here soon. Um, we're gonna check the bread. Don't forget to do uh, to stick around for Sam. And then tomorrow, not sure the time yet. Tomorrow evening, I'll be streaming Fallout One for a little bit. So if you like old, if you like the Fallout series that have never experienced the old school isometric beginnings of the series. It's a, it's fun. It's one of my favorite games of all time. Be right back. Dude, whoever said you should do low intelligence fallout one. Well, the one time I streamed it for a few minutes, a few weeks ago, we helped, uh, we chat helped me group source my character and it is a low intelligence character. So, okay. Let me check the bread. Oh fuck. I forgot my hot gloves. Okay, so here's the deal. Um, oh, let me switch over to, okay. Yeah, is that good? Okay, so the uh, peanut butter chocolate banana bread is just about done. It looks really fucking good, right? So look at that, oh yeah. Um, so I have this metal thing. Are you guys can see my dirty ass floor? Okay, so I have this metal thing here and uh, we're gonna poke that into the bread and we're gonna see uh, so basically you know if you don't do much baking you need it to be done and the best way to check and see if it's done without fucking it up and cutting it you just poke something right into the middle and then pull it out see now the only thing still on there is some melted chocolate so it's probably good to go I might cook it for a few more minutes if there was still dough and shit on there I probably would have um, said it's not done, but I'm thinking this is pretty done looking, right? A lot of people said, oh, fuck yeah, poke it. <laughs> We're all just so horny, right? 2020, with everything going on, we've all just become just fucking hornballs, right? I mean, if you guys knew how often... Anyways. Okay. Well, I'll just try another thing. Let's poke a knife in there real quick. I think the Zucchini Boys community should be called Hot Gloves. Dude, that is a really fucking good idea. Um, I'm calling this banana bread done. Because the second tester, all it pulled out was a little bit of melted chocolate. Well, that doesn't mean it's not done. What you're looking for, what you don't want, is, you know, uh, raw dough and shit to still be on there. Because that means it's not done. But if you're only getting the melted chocolate, that just means I poked through a chocolate chip. Which I'm sure my testing rod... Uh, enjoyed because who doesn't like chocolate? Don't be a fucking sellout, testing rod. I know you like candy. All right. Okay, so I'm going to set... In case you didn't see it, um, I did a bread, bread making stream. And uh, we people are so kind with the subscriptions and gifting and everything that we got the hype train going. 
And uh, what we did is I said if we got level 5 hype train, I would. the intention was to make zucchini bread, but then we started making banana bread too. And so this is the banana bread. It's chocolate chip peanut butter banana bread. Look at that motherfucker. And it's pretty much done. This is going to be good. Um, and so we're going to set that out, and I'll take it out in a little while. And then let me make a timer for the zucchini bread. Needs about probably 12 more minutes. Okay, so thank you everybody for joining me on this uh, inaugural, hopefully inaugural, meaning there will be more, episode of uh, Zucchini Boys, Cooking Boys, uh, Hot Glove Boys, I don't know. And uh, we'll work on a name, also work on fulfilling the promise of the term boys by getting some of the other guys involved. Um, all the whitest kids can cook, at least a little bit. I know that everybody, every one of us makes something. So, uh, you know... I want to. I want Darren to be involved. As I said earlier, uh, we can maybe make pizza together, uh, even though we live in different places. I think that'd be fun. I know that uh, one time Zach taught me how to make bacon wrapped scallops, like fucking 14 years ago. That was fun. I know Sam and Trevor are both delved into baking. I know Sam cooks some stuff. So, anyways, we could all do it. So, uh, but anyways, I hope you guys have had fun. I'm gonna stop here in a little bit because it's 7:29. Uh, which means it's 529 in Sam's world, and he's about to start streaming. So, uh, cool. Can you please verbally censor your swear words? My dog is only four years old. <laughs> yo, yo, put your dog up. Put your dog up. Is your dog there? All right. Yo, dog. Fucking fuck yeah, motherfucker. Sorry. Sorry about your dog. Sorry about your immature dog. All right, everybody. Um, yeah, that bread, uh, that banana chocolate uh, chocolate... Peanut butter chocolate banana bread. It's gonna be fucking good. Um, man, I'm gonna I'm gonna love it so much, just like Elvis would like it. But I, I'm I'm not like a, I'm not gonna like marry a teenager. So uh, you know, I guess I'm better than Elvis. Anyways, oh, but what you guys all learned from Sam last week, uh, this weekend on uh, Self Suck Saturday? Fuck Elvis, right? <laughs> Anyways, that's it for me. Uh, we're gonna take a quick break, and then Sam and his brother are gonna be right here in just a moment, uh, streaming Fall Fall Guys and uh, doing some other fun stuff. So good night, everybody. Uh, thanks for watching me make bread, and I will. Oh, I'm gonna post pictures of the bread. Let's use hashtag Zucchini Boy. All right, so watch out for hashtag Zucchini Boy. Should I spell boy with a Y, B O Y, or B O I? I'm waiting for some opinions to drop. Quick comment on the debate. Fuck the debate. <laughs> okay. Somebody say I or Y. Oh, you guys are a little behind. That's okay. Zook fuckers. No, B-O-I. That's what I... Oh, B-O-Y-R. That's where B-O-Y... Okay. Watch out for hashtag Zucchini Boy B-O-I. No, let's do... I'm sorry. We'll do hashtag Zucchini Bread Boy. Okay. Z-U-C-C-H-I-N-I-B-R-E-A-D-B-O-I. So once it's done, I'll post those pictures. It'll be very soon, but we're going to get to Sam here because uh, he was gracious enough to to uh, give me some of his planned time so I could uh, make some fucking bread. All right, good night, everybody. I love you. Mwah.